Within the accounts receivable, if I go to the all sales orders, I can click on the options action pane and select add to the workspace. And right within here, I can select this list page to be added into a specific workspace. Let's go ahead and pick and choose customer invoicing workspace. Here you have an option to select this specific list page to be shown as a tile, list, or link within that customer invoicing workspace. Let's start with the tile. I click configure. Here you can change the name of the tile and decide whether or not you would like to show the count within that tile. Show count will show the number of records available within the sales order. I click OK. Let's go back and take a look at the customer invoicing. Within this workspace, as you notice, there are 749 sales orders available. The navigation search functionality also includes a much requested feature for power users. This gives a capability to quickly navigate to a page based on a technical form name. Many users, such as developers, are so familiar with the system name, they know the exact form names they work with. A developer or a technical person can enter a word form, colon, followed by the name of the form that they're looking for. For example, if they enter form colon vend invoice, the search results will show all pages where the form name starts with vend invoice. As you see, the search results include all the pages which have the form name starts with vend invoice. This time, if I type in cost invoice, the search result only shows the pages that the form name starts with cost invoice. Now it's time to talk about filtering options. Let's get started by learning how to filter and sort the grid columns. As you see, I am in vendor invoice entry workspace. On the detail area, there's a grid page. I select the first column, and by clicking the down arrow, you have the capability to sort alphabetically either descending or ascending. Let's go ahead and sort the results based on a descending order. Going back, sort the results based on an ascending order. You see you have a different view of available records. I also can filter the list of values based on the operators. As you see, some of the examples are as follow. You can search a record or a group of records that it starts with a specific word or letter, or you could force it to be exactly a specific value, or use the negation or search within the name that contains a specific word. This is true for every single one of the other columns on the grid. This time, I select the name, and I choose the operator to be contains, and I type in supplier. By clicking on the apply, the search result shows all the vendors that they have supplier as part of their names. In order to clear the filter, all you need to do is set a clear button. As you notice, I have a capability to save this result as a new view. The standard view is the out-of-the-box view of the page, where no personalizations are applied. I click Save As and give this view a name, such as California. Within here, I can give it a short description, which is optional, and pin this view as the default view. That means when you open this list page, view will appear. I click Save. Now you see California is shown as a view. I can switch back to a standard view in order to show all existing vendors. Going back to the name, I filter the results for those records that they have a name start with letter A. Similarly, I can save this view with a name that starts with A. I click Save. Therefore, I have two new views, California and start with A. I switch back to a standard view. This time, I use the quick filter and I search for those records that have a group equal to 40. 
The results shows all the vendors that they have a vendor group equal to number 40. Let's go ahead and save this as a new view. I specify group 40 as a name and I save this view. So as you see, it's very simple to create a brand new view based on your search queries, criteria, and filters.